welcome to day one of Summerween. I am so excited for it to start. It is like about three o'clock now and I am currently on like research block. I feel like I'm not in focus. I'm on research block and I'm like studying and doing various things. I also was like cleaning and I finally figured out, this is super random, I finally figured out why my vacuum stopped vacuuming as well because of the little filters that I didn't realize I needed to clean out and so I've been having a allergy attack like all day hold on oh god that's why I look really rough right now <laughs> but I'm going to go and step out of the house now go for a walk I may stop by Walgreens so I'm going to go for a walk now we will stop by the pharmacy and get some freaking allergy medicine because I'm all out. But I wanted to stop and do a little TBR of what we're going to be reading this summerween. Um, we're going to be doing some Halloween decor hunting. I'm going to Michigan um, to visit my grandpa and my brother. So when I'm there, we're definitely going to do a bunch of things, go to the movies and stuff, which I'm very excited about. Um, so these next couple days will be more chill. Let's talk about the TBR. So with the little thingy here, so the first one I know for sure is there's one that's like read a manga graphic novel or a novella so for the novella we're gonna go with we can never leave this place by eric laroca um i've read a couple things by him one i enjoyed one i didn't really care for so i'm excited to get to this it's a nice short little book i have no idea what it's about but I'm excited for it. For reading a thriller, I'm super excited to pick this one up. I'm going to do Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pimbro. I am not the, the biggest fan of thrillers. Like, I can't tell you the last time I read a thriller. <laughs> I have been saving this one on my shelves to read because it's like the one thriller I'm super interested in. I want to know this plot twist at the end. Um, so, so will definitely be one that will be read. And then there's one that's read orange and black on the cover. So I was thinking How to Sell a Haunted House by Grady Hendrix because I have been wanting to get to this. And I think this will be just a fun, like a fun time. And I'm excited for it. I know there's like lots of mixed things about this book, but I think if I go in it with the right expectations that it's more just like fun and campy and not take it that seriously, I think it would be, be a good time. I think there's also a book that's like read a book set during fall time. I'm hoping one of these will fit that because I don't know what else I can do. And then I was watching, as you saw, Books and Lala's video. Let me put this down. Uh, watching Books and Lala's recent video where she read like the different books to figure out her TBR. And she mentioned how she's going to read an anthology. Um, and I was like, oh, that's such a good idea. I'm going to do that too, I think. I don't know if it's going to fit any prompts, but... I think that would be fun so I can also try to get through an anthology. So the ones I have on my shelf, we have Cursed Bunny, which I have not read yet. Read yet. This is by Bora Chong, translated fiction. And then the other one I have is this one, which is Human Monsters, a horror anthology. Um, this one has 35 stories. This is a lot. But there's someone here I really do want to read because there's like a story by Stephen Graham Jones in this one. So we have these two. And then let me make sure there's something else that I'm missing. And then I remember that I have this book that I bought. This is the portable Edgar Allan Poe. So that has a bunch of his stories. So actually, you know what I may do? Um, I may put this on my Instagram and be like, I want to read some stories from one of these throughout the Summerween. Which do you think? So let's do that. I'm going to put that up on my Instagram right now. So then when I come back from my walk and stuff, we will have the one. That is what we're working with. Let's go for this walk. It's beautiful outside. I hope it's not too hot.
after my walk. It was very nice. It was hot, but I was enjoying myself. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, my allergies are just horrible, but I got my medicine. That I'm gonna throw away. I got a new comforter. That's what that is. I have to throw it away. Um, I also stopped and got a mango smoothie. This is so good. Let us see. Book one. So it's been up for two hours. Oh my gosh, that was two hours ago. Um, and the winner is clearly cursed bunny i had a feeling this was going to be the winner i am excited about this i've heard mixed things so this is translated by anton her and i really love this cover as well as the back really nice finishing a book for a different vlog today i tried to finish it last night but i couldn't get around to it but you're gonna see well you'll see that vlog after but it was the last house on needless street I won't say anything, but I finished it this morning relaxing a little bit. My allergies have like not gotten any better. I really don't feel like doing anything. Um, but I changed into some Merlin merch. <laughs> I need to decide what I want to start with. I feel like I should just go ahead and start the first story of this. I wish someone was like doing reading sprints today. That would be nice. So maybe I have to go find some old one. And I'll start one of those books. I don't know which one though, because I just finished as I told you all, The Last House on Needless Street. Um, and this like, this was horror for sure. But it also had like thrillery elements and some parts of it felt like a thriller. So that's why I'm like, I don't really want to read Behind Her Eyes right now because I don't, I'm not in the mood for like another thriller-esque book. So I'm thinking like how to sell a haunted house just because I just know that book is going to be fun. Um, and I feel like it'll catch my attention. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Story. It was very strange. The first one is the one that everyone talks about, about there being a head in the toilet. I mean, honestly, it was fine. I don't really have an opinion on it. <laughs> um, I don't even know if I would read it, honestly. Probably like a three, because it was perfectly fine. I think I'm going to, I think I made my decision that we are going to read How to Sell a Haunted House, because I'm hoping that it'll just grasp my attention. I was opening this and I completely forgot that I had this book plate because I got this book in my Nightworm subscription and I forgot I got this. That's exciting. Good morning everyone, it is 
day two of summer ween. But I'm gonna do an eye treatment mask because my bags are, they need it from my allergy attack yesterday. <laughs> I'm definitely feeling better though today. So I wanted to give you all an update. Yesterday, I only read like 20 pages of how to sell a haunted house. Um, so far, you just met the main character. I already forgot her name. She just found out that her parents died, which uh, isn't a spoiler, it was like the whole premise of the book. They have to go back, her and her brother have to go back to the house. She has a five-year-old daughter. Um, and that's all I have so far. I'm liking it. I mean, like, not much has happened. It's not much for me to like or not like. <laughs> but Grady Hendrix's writing is just so easy. It is a very gloomy day, so it's like perfect for just sitting in and reading. Oh, and then last night I watched Evil Dead Rise, um, just because I heard so many good things about it. And while it's not for me, like that kind of horror just just doesn't just doesn't do anything for me. I don't know, it's just like so gory. <laughs> I'm just like, it's just not my thing. But I will say it was it was good. Like I can see objectively that it was a good horror film, I have to say. And it was filmed so well. Cinematography was like incredible. The lighting, there's some really beautiful shots. Um, and you could tell they really took their time and care. And they had a big budget for that movie because it was done really, really well. So I definitely recommend if you like that kind of horror. So today's gonna be another chill day, relaxing. Not doing much because I'm going to Michigan tomorrow. Next weekend, my best friend is coming to visit. So I'm trying to enjoy my alone time. <laughs> now um i've not been reading as much as i wanted to i've just been kind of feeling like meh but the sun is coming out now <laughs> and i think that is actually giving me more energy i have hit though i brought this the 100 page mark of how to sell a haunted house um gabby from gabby reese is currently doing reading sprints but i think i'm gonna take a little bit of a break um but let me tell you my thoughts on this while i'm doing this i have been wanting to do some painting um i don't know i've just been like having the urge and i figured why not do it today so i actually just have a ton of painting supplies like just already um <laughs> so i'm just gonna get it all together and paint a little something and i thought while i was painting i could listen to an audiobook so I tried to listen to the audiobook of How to Sell a Haunted House. I did not like it. I did not like the narrator's voice. She was doing like weird voices when like the mom was talking. I didn't like it. But I listened to a sample of We Can Never Leave This Place audiobook and I liked this narrator. So I think while I'm painting, I'm going to listen to this. It's only like two hours. So maybe I'll be able to get through it. So while I'm getting together, let me tell you about how to sell a haunted house. Okay, I think I mentioned that you are following this brother and sister whose parents recently die and the sister is like going back to try to um, like do the funeral and figure out the estate and all that stuff. The brother is a jerk. <laughs> he is such a jerk. Oh my gosh, for like no reason at all. I don't get it. And they do not get along at all. Um, but the sister is like trying to be like the bigger person and just like let him do what he wants to do, but he keeps being a jerk. Um, and then I have this really nice set. I bought this years ago off Amazon, I think. Did I get this from Michaels? Or was this a birth, a Christmas present? 
I can't remember how I got my hands on this, but <laughs> it has like all, it's just acrylic paints and has like all the different colors. Like look at how nice. I had friends come over one time and we did an arts and crafts party and she brought these like little canvases. I tried to paint this, it didn't turn out as good as I wanted. So I'm gonna paint over this one, but I have this mini canvas too. Anyways, so the mom used to be like a puppeteer and um, like a Christian puppeteer person. So, and she collects like all these dolls. She collects like all these creepy dolls, which little creepy dolls do freak me out already. Puppets, not so much, but like little creepy dolls. Yes, I do think they're creepy already. Um, so they're just like all over the house and they're just one in particular that the daughter does like not like and you're already having scenes of like the doll's like watching TV and she keeps turning off the TV but it keeps somehow coming back on and it is a little creepy. Not gonna lie. Okay, I brought you around so I'm gonna sit here and paint but yeah, the dolls and puppet things are a little bit creepy. The mom seems like she was a very strange woman. Um, so I don't know where it's gonna go. I do have to say, <laughs> I know a lot of people were like, it gets so ridiculous and I don't even know what's gonna happen, but I can see how like having this little like puppet thing coming after you, like how scary can that actually be? You know what I mean? <laughs> um, but. I'm liking it, it's really easy to read so far. Um, I have an idea for what I want to paint. I saw on Pinterest, wait, I saw on Pinterest these paintings of these like stormy ocean scenes. <laughs> I'll put a thing here so you can see. Not, I don't want the quote on, on it or anything, but I kept seeing them and I kept like um, saving them. Like there's one with just like clouds on it. This one I really like, it's just like the ocean scene. I don't know why, I just really like it. So I'm gonna try to do something similar to that and then listen to my audiobook and we'll go from there. almost eight o'clock um i finished my painting oh let me show you i don't love it i have this little like easel that um came with whatever my friend bought like it's a good first try but i definitely want to try again but i do like it though like i feel like you get you get what i was trying to do <laughs> okay so i am now officially halfway through how to sell a haunted house this book is a lot of fun it's exactly what i thought um you are getting more insight into the actual family dynamics between the brother and the sister because you're in the sister's perspective and so you i think automatically kind of trust her and believe everything she's saying but then you're getting her and her brother are having like more conversations and you're kind of seeing the real side of the sister and you realize she is also not that great of a person and starting to feel bad for the brother the brother's name is mark starting to feel bad for him um yeah it's just interesting and i also thought it was really funny that like when they're trying to sell now i'm not gonna be able to find it when they're trying to sell the house right they have someone in their family is a realtor and 
she like comes and like inspects the house and was like, oh, look, we can, you know, take down this wall and this looks great. And like, there are like weird sounds in the house and stuff, right? As she's like going through the home. And then she just comes out and she's like, so your house is haunted. <laughs> I just thought it was so funny. But yeah, you're learning more things about the family between the brother and the sister. They have a horrible relationship. They are so horrible to each other, but I am liking it. It is just a good time. I'm reading it really fast. Like I've read like a hundred over like almost 200 pages today. So that's great. But um, yes, I'm going to now pack because tomorrow I am driving to Michigan. Like I said, to visit my grandpa and my brother. When we get there, I'll be doing more fun things. So the vlogs will be a little bit more interesting the next couple days. Um, I'm going to start editing this vlog and then later tonight I will read another story or two from this and then let you know my final thoughts before ending out the vlog. But.